So I'm gonna try to change out my tire in my car. This is an, a slightly older tire, a Kevlar, uh, the foldable type. Uh, it's, uh, it could be a little difficult because it was difficult putting this this outside tire on. You know, I'm not sure how I even got that flat, but uh, I had it aired up at the Einstein oil earlier. Yep, here, here's something. These seeds, these silly, silly seeds. I, I had several of them. It's, it's, it's quite possible that they got through to the tire. Yeah, I got some goose poop in here and this tire's in my car. Still some goose poop. That's not gonna be healthy. But yeah, this little sucker is definitely no good. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna have to throw that away. And then, whoops. Now I have, I have, uh, I bought a couple extra tires from Walmart here, and now they're buried in this trash. I'm gonna move the food. I gotta throw away these pants. These pants are no good anymore. Put them in a spot designated for throwing them away. All right, I I can't. They're they're in a bag or something. I got so much trash in here. All right, all right, here we go. Just gotta get through a bunch of trash. Okay, so now I got this 26 inch three speed only fits tire widths one and a quarter to one and three eighths. Isn't this one and a quarter to one and three eighths? I got 1.95. You know that's that looks that looks smaller. 1.95 is that one and a quarter and one and three eighths? Uh, okay, so apparently I got the wrong one. I went back into Walmart and got the right one. It was a specific size that 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 last one that last tube I bought was supposed to be for. It's it designed for smaller tires. This I had to pay a little bit more. You know, I don't know what's strange is when I went back into Walmart to do like the exchange or whatever, she gave me cash back. You know, I used I all the other times I've done exchanges, they've given me a card, a store credit card, but this place gives cash back. Are they moving to doing a, a cash back thing? Because wow, that'd be a nice free ATM to take advantage of. You just buy something. For the price of the money you want and then return it immediately saying uh, I changed my mind and then they'll give you some cash there might be a maximum for the cash they give back I'm not sure you'd have to get a feel for it but I got ten dollars back and I think I kind of need that that is that as cash on hand so I just kind of paid for these new tubes with my card again all right so I got the tube in the challenge yeah is this Kevlar tire it's it's got a lot of it's more probably more stretched out so it's gonna be harder to keep keep everything within the yeah, that, that just came out. This is the worst part of of the the tire change and particularly with the Kevlar. The worst part. Oh no, it came undone on the other side. So even though I'm putting all this effort into closing this off, it really doesn't matter. Oh my god. So now this other side has come undone.
And I've had problems, I've had tires pop from having the, the tube in between the rim and the tire. That makes me a little nervous. Alright, I'm ready to inflate. Holy crap, that was quick. I had this this pump buried pretty deep in my in my clothes in my car. Okay, so I'm just gonna pump it up in here if it cooperates. It doesn't want to. There we go. <sighs> gotta keep, gotta keep track of the, the, the pump thing. That's probably not the best way to go. Uh, I'll just do it this way. I gotta make sure that uh, it doesn't. Oh, there it goes. It extended over. That could be of trouble. This needs to be pushed in. That's that's a problem. That's okay. Okay, so I got the tire all pumped up. It's looking in better shape. So now it's just a just a matter of getting it back on the bicycle. Just back here. Gotta get back on there. Okay, I have a problem with the chain skipping. This derailleur uh, defaults to pushing this way to the outside, and that causes the chain to to fall off into the groove there. I, I figure I want to tighten uh, the the link between these two areas because that's where the wires normally run when you shift gears but I'm unable to shift gears so I want to tighten these two things and how I'm gonna do it is using the speedy stitcher and this really strong thread I'm gonna put a couple of loops loops between them if I can this speedy stitcher just barely fits through and then I'm gonna make a nice tight knot Alright, maybe the speedy stitcher wasn't exactly needed. I, I was able to thread the ends through the hole several times, and now it, uh, it's, it's actually in between gears, but it's not gonna, yeah, it, the, the thread should, it should stretch a little bit. It's called artificial sinew, it's really strong. But it's, it's in between these lower gears. I, I could adjust it later. I just This is my first go at it. So it is holding everything in place between these two. It's just creating enough tension there. Uh, but yeah, I might, I might want to relax it a little bit. I'll uh, see how this works. All right, I'm having a lot of difficulty with pedaling. It's, it's pretty much impossible. It's barely catching skipping a lot okay well I loosened it up a little bit and now it's able to to pedal pretty decent I'm on the highest gear the smallest gear for the rear and yeah thread should you should uh, work for a while 